So guys, modded items are now on consoles. How's it going people? My name is DPG and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. Okay, so back in the very, very early days of BR3 being released, I uploaded a video of footage of a grenade, which at the time I was told dropped offering two legendary grenade prefixes on the same grenade. I was told this was a bug. That grenade you can see on the screen now. Now, like I said, I had multiple people tell me before uploading this video that this item was due to a glitch where two legendaries forged together upon dropping. But I also had thousands of people telling me that this was a modded item or they thought it was a modded item. Even though this was literally a week after the game was released. Now it was a PC item so the more I think about it the more it made sense that it was actually a modded item but like I said it was so much into the early days of BR3 being released I was told it wasn't a modded item and it was just a bug I uploaded a video showcasing this legendary. Since then I haven't seen anything and definitely wasn't aware of any modded items on console. Now I know many of the techniques people use to mod items on previous Borderlands games didn't work now with Borderlands 3 and especially didn't work on consoles where a lot of people were editing save files. But I can confirm people that modded items are here on consoles. Now the reason behind this video isn't to show off this modded item, is to make people aware that such items now exist and to hopefully make Gearbox aware of said items. Now I will straight up state, I will 100% not be sending this out to anybody. In fact if you message me on Xbox asking for this item, I will just block you straight away. Items like these just completely ruin the game and it's also why I haven't even shut this thing outside of the sanctuary as I ain't interested in such things. Like I said, it just completely ruins the game we love. Now this item itself was sent to me by someone who I won't mention but also feels the same about modded items. And I wasn't even going to upload this video until they told me this is something that's been happening for a while but only a certain few people know about these and share them amongst themselves. Which tells me there are many more items out there which are modded. So this blood soaked Barry Becker we can see offers four anointments, clearly made by somebody who doesn't enjoy playing on Fleck. But you can see this kind of thing and how it can be game breaking. And with said items floating about, in reality, does indeed ruin the experience for the likes of us who enjoy playing the game properly. For the most part, that is. Now I will state, I can't play a game like Borderlands where this kind of thing is going on. Yeah, I know you can't 100% eliminate it, but for the most part, I do expect Gearbox to try and control such things from happening. And hopefully, this is what they are doing. Now I will give them credit where it is due, this is the first item besides that PC grenade that I have come across. So I feel they are controlling this to some sort of degree. And also guys, we also have a choice whether or not we use such items. And I'll tell you to stay away from them. Don't spread them about, don't use them, don't abuse them. Now I know people will state this is a little contradictive as you have posted videos of glitches which make the game easier. This is true guys, but the fact in which all these glitches I've posted all consist of in reality in-game bugs surrounding certain items which indeed are a part of most games out there. This is different as it's actually changing items in game, more times than not using third party apps to do, which is most of the time illegal to do in itself. Plus modding a game and taking advantage of in game glitches to make extra money or to make a boss easier to kill are far far different. And glitches we see eventually fade out and disappear due to being fixed or certain items becoming useless or level upgrades in game and so much more. The same in reality can't be said about modded items in which it takes a much deeper process to sort out and a lot of the time go unsorted. People having the ability to literally customise a weapon making them as powerful as they want is far far different from glitching an item which makes you run quicker. And in reality guys that's the message behind this video, stay clear of such items, don't ask for them, don't share them about and don't abuse them. This kind of thing always starts somewhere and then just escalates. Let's not ruin a game we all love by taking part and feeding such things. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.